Here we're given two functions, a of x and b of x, and we're asked to evaluate each of the following. The notation that you see here is the notation for what's called composition of functions. What composition of functions means is that you're using one function as input into another function. So the way I will read this first piece here is a of b of x. And the b of x is the inside part, and the a of that is the outside part. So we're first going to apply the inside into the outside, and then combine like terms and simplify as much as we can. So I'm going to get rid of that part there because it's going to be in our way. So the first thing that I'm going to recommend when you do these problems is to write out each of your function pieces. And I'm going to use different colors to illustrate that in this example. So b of x equals 3x minus 5. Then I'm going to change the color of a of x equals 2x plus 1. So what I'm doing when I evaluate a of b of x, which I'm going to write in black, is a of b of x equals a of, now I'm going to replace inside there, I'm going to replace b of x with what it equals, which is 3x minus 5. Then I'm going to take that information and I'm going to plug that in to function a. So that's going to be 2 times, here comes the input part, that's the b of x part, plus 1. So you can kind of see from the colors, hopefully it's not more confusing, I'll just do it for this one example, but that the inside part, there is the b of x part. That gets replaced for x inside function a. So function a says take 2 times my input and add 1. Well, my input now is the expression 3x minus 5 instead of just a single variable or number as we're used to. So now what we're going to do at this point is to just distribute and combine like terms. So let's see, I'm going to do that in brown. So that's going to be 6x minus 10 plus 1, 6x minus 9. So my final result then for a of b of x is 6x minus 9. So that was a little bit crazy with all of the colors. I'm not sure if that really helps, but let's do it in a little bit more straightforward way when we're looking at the second part, b of a of x. So again, as with the other problem, I'm going to write out what is a of x? That's the inside part, 2x plus 1. And b of x, that's the outside part, is 3x minus 5. So function b says to take 3 times the input and subtract 5. So b of a of x, which is what I'm asked at the beginning, is b of 2x plus 1. So the 2x plus 1 takes the place of a of x on the inside. Now I apply the 2x plus 1 into function b. So that becomes 3 times the input 2x plus 1 minus 5. Then I just distribute and combine like terms. So I get 6x plus 3 minus 5, which is 6x minus 2. That is my final result for b of a of x. So let's see how that's going to work with numbers. And actually with numbers, it can be a little bit easier. So the first thing I'm going to do is compute b of 4, meaning the input is 4 inside function b. So that becomes 3 times 4 minus 5 
12 minus 5 is 7. So now I want to take that 7 and use it as input into function a. So that becomes a of b of 4 equals a of 7. And for a of 7, I just take 2 times 7 plus 1. 2 times 7 is 14 plus 1 is 15. So a of b of 4 equals 15. And that is my final result. So notice when we have a specific number as input, we are going to end up with a specific number as output. If we have a function as input, as we did in the top part, we will usually end up with variables and a function as output. So let's take a look at the last one here, b of a of 4. So I'm going to do the inside first. That's a of 4. That means 2 times 4 plus 1. That's 8 plus 1 or 9. Now I want to take that result and use it as input into function b. So that means b of a of 4 equals b of 9. And function b says take 3 times my input, which is 9, and subtract 5. That's going to be 27 minus 5, which is 22. So b of a of 4 then is going to be a final result of 22. So remember when you're working with function composition, if you have a numerical result, you're going to want to actually compute the inside first, use that result as input into the outer function. If you're working with the function expressions here with variables, you're going to take the inside function and put it in place of the input of the outer function. So these can be pretty confusing, so just step this through very carefully and make sure that you understand.